Okay, so in the last video, I talked about the unbiasedness of OLS estimates, that is these beta coefficients. And remember, these beta coefficients represent the impact of uh, these uh, x variables on uh, our dependent or y variable. Essentially, we are interested in knowing the true effect of this x variable on y variable. So there could be two cases where we may exclude a relevant variable in the model or we may include an irrelevant uh, variable. So in the last video, I talked about both of these scenarios. So if we include an irrelevant variable in the regression model, for example, if we include x3 variable in this model and x3 does not belong here, then it does not affect the unbiasedness of uh, these beta coefficients. These beta 1 and beta 2 coefficients will still be unbiased but it will have an impact on the variance of uh, these beta coefficients. So that is the first uh, issue. The second is omitting a variable that should be included in the model. That is, we omit this x2 variable from the model and estimate uh, a model like this model. Okay, for example, this may be our true model, wage as a function of education and ability. But instead of estimating this model, we estimate this model, wage as a function of education only. Now the impact of ability, it is included in this error term. So what will happen? So we have an omitted variable bias in this beta coefficient. This is our true model and we may estimate this model. So these are the estimates that we will get from this model. In, in my one of previous videos, I said that this coefficient beta tilde, it can be represented in this form and the beta head parameters. And in this video, I'm going to explain you the bias that will be created in this coefficient value if we estimate this model rather than estimating a full model. The bias in this beta 1 tilde will be equal to our expected value of beta 1 tilde minus expected value of beta 1 hat and we already know that this is equal to the true population beta 1. So this bias is from here, we know this bias is equal to beta 2 hat delta 1 tilde. So this is the bias that will be created in our beta coefficient. We know that beta 1 tilde, that is the estimate of beta 1 that we will get from this single or simple linear regression model, it will be equal to true population parameter or our estimate of true population parameter from this multiple linear regression model only if beta 2 hat delta 1 tilde is 0, right? So if this term is 0, then this beta 1 tilde and beta 1 hat will be equal. These two values will not be equal if this, this term is not equal to 0, right? So this is the bias. Now we'll have uh, four cases of this bias. And these four cases arise depending on uh, these two values. So maybe we have beta 2 hat is positive and we also know beta hat could also be negative. And then we may have delta 1 positive or delta 1 negative. Okay, so we are looking at this equation. So if both beta 2 and delta 1 are positive, this whole term will be positive, which means beta delta 1, this is positive, and this implies that beta 1 tilde is greater than beta 1 hat. Okay, so if beta 2 delta 1 is positive, it means we are adding something to beta 1 hat to make it equal to beta 1 tilde, and it implies that beta 1 tilde is greater than beta 1 hat. And this type of situation is called a positive bias or an upward bias. So our beta 1 tilde will be more than its actual value. That is if we estimate our true model. On the other hand, if delta 1 is 0 but beta 2 is uh, positive, beta 2 delta 1, this term will be less than 0. If this will be less than 0, then beta 1 tilde will be less than beta 1 hat. So it means we are subtracting something from beta 1 hat to make it equal to beta 1 tilde. And this type of bias is called a negative bias or a downward bias. The third case is if beta 2 is negative but delta 1 is uh, positive. If this is the case, multiplying a negative number with a positive number, it will give us 
a negative number so this whole term will be negative so this will be negative and we'll get a, no, a negative bias so same as here similarly if delta 1 is negative and beta 2 is negative which means beta 2 hat delta 1 tilde is positive that is multiplying a negative number with a negative number will give us a positive and will have a positive bias because this whole term will be positive beta 1 tilde will be greater than beta 1 so in short the bias in our estimated coefficients that we'll get from a simple linear regression model that is we after omitting a variable that should be included in the model that bias depends on two values that is what is the correlation between the omitted variable with our dependent variable and what is the correlation between our omitted variable and our explanatory variable and looking at those two correlations we can argue about the positive or negative bias or we can talk about a downward bias and an upward bias all right in the next video i'm going to work with an example that will show you this omitted variable bias all right see you in the next video bye bye